What's up, Wargamers? Welcome back to World of Wargaming. I'm Isaiah. Today we're going to be playing a game that we hadn't played in a while. We're going to play a game of Perilous Tales. Division Zero is back in the thick of it as they hunt down and try to deal and eradicate with the Martian threat. Now, before we do that, if you haven't already, please consider hitting that like, subscribe, and notification button so you can be made aware whenever I post the new things, which is usually every Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. And if you'd like to pick up some channel merch, check out the link to the Red Bubble down in the description below. That being said, let's get into this game of Perilous Tales. Hey friends, we out here in the swamp today for this game of Perilous Tales. Been a while since I played this one, but I think I got it under control. So we've got our villain, our master, who was a tripod. Let me get him, try to get him focused. And there he is. And then we've got our two remote controlled humans, Seth and Alice. On a one, two, on a one, two, or three here, we draw the master. And then on a four or five, we have our captives. And then on a six, seven, eight, we've drawn utterly horrible when revealed the revealer and every hero within six of the threat marker that revealed the peril make a horror check with disadvantage treating this threat as the closest villain Dr we've got driven back for every hero within six revealer make a skill check each model is pushed back three inches minus an inch for each success they rolled directly away from the threat marker and mired which is one that stays in play and everybody within six when they declare a walk action must pass a skill check or move at half speed which i love it when you draw randomly and they just kind of fit the board i mean we're kind of it's kind of a swampy board love it love it when rng provides fitting narrative that's always good for the immersion fluffs so i'm set up here on this back edge i got two inches we rolled the standard De deployment for our threat markers so they are just kind of evenly across the villainous side of the board and we're going to start with me so i'm going to start with hawkeye who's going to immediately try to eagle eye this situation uh skill two trying to spot what this threat marker is so here we roll one dice for our skill dice this sets the difficulty everything else is looking to meet or beat that so difficulty one we are 10 is i got a little mixed up we're good that's two successes so i get to peek at this threat marker it is a one so that's that's the master which i don't hate I don't hate the idea of pulling the master out early and just getting in on him quick. I feel like it's usually better to fight the master early because of how it affects the threat level. So we're going to move up four with Bo. And he's going to go on ambush. Yep. He's going to go on ambush. Make sure we're away. Yes, we are. Gonna move up just to there. Oh, with Hank. Uh, Eyes peeled is the name of that, not ambush. Uh, Tex, just gonna move over to that bush. And then Dan is going to. All right. Dan is going to give himself a pep talk and then he's going to move his, then he's going to double move. So six, four to there. All right. Four to there. And then four to there. Now, when I end my movement within six, it activates the threat marker, which are sometimes a pain to pick up. Reveals the master. So the master appears. I get to interrupt with my eyes peeled. So I'll get to take a shot here. Now, normally eyes peeled is at disadvantage. However, Bo is a marksman. So he always shoots at advantage. So for me, it's just a straight roll. Direction, I wouldn't have advantage there because I took a walk action. Forgot about that part. So 
that's the worst of the two, which is a misfortune, which means we do nothing. It is a fail. Uh, so then we go to the monster, who's going to finish his ambush. He is... And he ambushes in because he's aggressive, so his ambush would just take him into me. When the master appears, we increase the threat level by one. So we go to two, and then we enter the villainous phase. So we've got two dice because the current threat level is two, and the roll always has advantage, which means two skill dice take the lowest, take the best. The minimum, however, is my number of active players, which is five. So even though these were a two and a four, it would still be a five. However, that's two nines, which are successes, which means we will get a threatening overture and the noose will tighten. So we'll up the threat level by one and all of the threat markers will move an inch towards the middle of the board, basically. Master will then take a swing at me. So he's skill seven against my tough seven or skill uh, tough seven so looking for sevens here so we got one that's a crit three so four hits against me my tough will ignore one of them so I'll take three damage there that will end the villainous phase so we'll come back to my activations so I'm going to, all right, so we're going to start with Hank, who's just going to double move up here to prepare himself to try to get some heals off on Dan next round. Uh, Bo is going to move, double move up into this to provide support. Not going to be able to swing right now, however. Hank is just going to move up into this alley where next round he can peek what that threat marker is with his uh, binoculars. And Tex just going to move up a little bit to right there, which will bring us to Dan. Now, Dan is going to try to take this picture. He's going to try to get this evidence. Minimum difficulty of the target skill, which is seven. All right, so we got two successes there. So that will take the photograph. So I'm going to move that token to Dan. I then have one action left because I have AP three with Dan, and I'm going to take a swing at this joker. So four, five, six, seven. And then I have advantage because I am supported by my main man, Bo, minimum equal to theirs. So we got no successes there. Now you are entitled to one, what is called a last ditch effort, which is a reroll of a skill or attack check. I'm gonna take that reroll right here because I really think that I can do better. And I'd like to prove it to y'all. Nope. Cannot do better. Okay, then. <laughs> so we'll go to the villainous phase where we got to take a check. So we're currently at threat level three, minimum difficulty five. No successes. So we just bump the threat level up by one to four. There's an overture. Nothing else happens. Sweet. This guy's going to take a swing at me. All right, so big body, swinging it, Dan. Uh, minimum difficulty seven and gets no successes. All right, so at least we're both rolling poorly. Outstanding. That'll bring it back to me. I'm going to start with Hawkeye, who's going to try to peep that objective marker. That's a difficulty nine, but that's still three successes. So let's see what this is. That is a six, which would be one of our perils. Hank 
is going to use some first aid on Dan. I get one success and it heals two wounds per success. So Dan goes back to one, one wound remaining. Uh, why not Bo will take a swing at the boss man. Minimum seven. No successes. Uh, Dan will swing several times here, most likely. So he's got advantage because he's got a friend. Ooh. Hey, okay, hold on, though. So that's three damage. Go at him again. Minimum seven. That's another three damage. Two eights and a nine. Okay. And we'll swing one more time. One, two, three, four. That's four damage. I'm out of activations, so we'll go to the villainous phase. All right, still minimum five. So they'll have the five and get one success. Okay, and tripod will swing at Lieutenant Dan. Um, okay, so minimum seven. That's one, two, three damage. And I will take two because my tough reduces one. Bringing it back to me. Where we're going to start with Bo, who's going to take a swing at the fellow. I do have an advantage there. Um, so minimum seven, two damage. We'll finish that tripod off. All right. So those go away. Our threat level drops by two because we killed a master. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful work. Um, Hawkeye can see that one. So we're going to see what that is. Um, two successes. That'll do it. Let's see what we got there. That's a four. That's going to be a minion. Okay. You know what? He had an action left. So he will eyes peeled with that extra action that he had left. And back up for a second. Uh, Tex. Going to do something. Hank. Going to try to put some first aid on Dan. While they're still close by. Getting one success. So that'll heal him back up too. Tech's moving up just four. Um, Dan going to give himself a pep talk or focus. Concentrate to give himself some advantage. And he's going to move in on this threat marker. So let's see what that is. Five, that's going to be one of our minions. All right, so first thing, my ambush goes off. So I do have my just straight dice roll here. Um, nope, nothing there. So then this will, it's a pack hunter. It'll switch to lurker. Nothing, can't do its thing, so it will move to me. Or he'll get within an inch of me. Be as close to the thing as possible. And then we'll go to the villainous phase. So we're currently at three. Because when we killed that master, it dropped us by two. Uh, minimum five. Getting one success. So the noose will tighten and we'll go up to four. Remote control Seth will swing at Dan. Getting, wow, three successes for two damage. Because of my tough, geez, Lee's. Before that attack, that dice rolls there. But before we do that, we do need to back up just for a second because this came within six of me. So that's going to get revealed. That's going to be another tripod. 
which will come to here. Take our thread up by one. Um, to five. Okay. Now we're good. Now we're good. So then this will attack here. This is probably going to be brutal. Five, six, seven. Yeah, I was right. That's brutal. That is seven damage. Do it for the bad guys. It'll come back to me. I'm going to start with Dan who is going to try to parlay with the uh, the minion. I do parlay so I will get a confession token from him and then I'm going to punch him. Minimum difficulty of three. Seven, so that's two, four. They only have two wounds. That is a dead minion. I have one action left with which I will move back here to try and help combat that master that has arrived on the table. Hawkeye. Gonna sit tight for a second. Bo, is that within his movement? I think it is. Yes. So Bo is going to move in and take a swing at that master. He will have advantage. He gets no no hits. Um, Tex is going to try to scurry away. Minimum difficulty seven to break away, but I only need one success. And I got two. Excellent. So he can break away. I can make a walk action there. And I just want to walk over here to beside Doc and let Doc put some of that Healy goodness on me. So Doc's going to try to make that test, which he passes. Those will be three successes. So that's six damage he'll heal back up off of him. That is fortuitous. And Hawkeye's going to move, move over here to check this peril. I should probably measure that. Let me get the appropriate widget. Yeah, that'll take me right up to it. And we're just going to see what this is. Um, I know it's peril because one of my objectives is to clear, pretty much clear all the things and figure out what all's on the board. So I've got to activate him at some point. So let's get... Driven back. Make a skill check. Okay. Skill check. Two successes. So I'll get pushed back one inch from the marker. That one's not too bad. That's, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty breezy. I can live with that. That's it for me. So we'll go to villainous phase. We got threat level five right now. Always has advantage. Minimum difficulty five because I got five people alive. That's uh, three successes. Three successes. The noose will tighten. The overture will sound. And everybody has to make a horror check. So this could end badly. Let's see here. So Bo passes. Okay. Dan. passes. All right, those were the ones that really mattered because if they had failed, they would have fallen down. Uh, for Hank, Hank is good. And for Tex, Tex is not good, so he's going to run. And for Hawkeye, he is good. So Tex will just make a walk action straight away from the bad guy to right there, which... Oh, I gotta check that. 
does not trigger that threat marker. It's very close, but it does not quite trigger it. So then we'll go to the bad guys over here. He's going to swing it. Uh, he's going to swing at Dan because Dan has the most damage on him. So he does not have advantage, nor does he have disadvantage because that's not a thing in this current build of the game. Uh, seven, so one, two, three hits, of which I'll take two damage. And we'll bring it back to me. So we'll start with Bo, who's going to have a swing with advantage, getting one hit, so one damage. And we'll go again, getting two hits so three damage total from him i'll take that good job bo you're putting in some work dan gonna get in there and swing now so he's gonna swing big today he got advantage but a lot of dice to roll minimum seven so that's three damage off of his first swing and next swing Four damage off of the second swing. A good chance of just finishing this thing off right here. Yes! That's another four damage that will absolutely crack his skull. So we take him off. We also drop down another two threat levels because we killed another master. Beautiful, beautiful. This is going really, really well. This is going really, really well. Okay, back to me. Um, Dan needs a heal in a big way. Bo's going to stay put and eyes peeled. Um, Dan is going to move to here, give a pep talk to Hank, and then give a pep talk to Tex. So both of them will have advantage for their next check. And then Hank's going to try to heal. Hank's going to burn that advantage right away to try to do some healing on Dan. Which he gets. So that's four damage that he'll pick up off of Dan. Hawkeye is going to move over to here to right there this is gone Tex is going to move up towards the marker which will trigger it and it was we'd already figured out it was a minion so there she is remote control cheerleader we'll take our shot here straight dice roll uh, minimum five so that's three hits so that will plink gone not not even an issue, but we still have to go to the villainous phase at that point. We're at threat four. Ooh. Oh! They misfortuned though. They misfortuned. Uh double tens. So nothing. That's zero successes. We just get an overture. So threat goes back up to five. All right, it comes to me. Comes back to me, rather. Um, we're going to eyes peeled. That's gone. Dan is going to just move up the board to set off this threat objective which is an eight, so one of our perils. We get utterly horrible. The revealer and every hero within six of the threat marker, which is just him. 
Um, so make a horror check with disadvantage. So seven is the worst. I, I pass. So nothing, nothing doing there. Okay. Um, but that does take us to the villainous phase where we are at threat five. Um, seven, so one success. So our noose will tighten. All right, so we come back to me where I need Tex to make an eyes peeled and Bo to move up the board. I'm just going to double move up to here. Hank is going to double move up to there just to get in close. Hawkeye is going to try to spot hidden on that objective over there. Nope, that is a misfortune. He sees nothing. Uh, Hank is going to give a pep talk to Tex and then move towards... Well, he'll focus himself up too, I suppose. And then move towards here. Setting that off, which is the third master. Perfect. Crack shot, and because of the pet talk he received, he's at straight dice. No disadvantage, no advantage. Uh, minimum five, so he'll get two hits there. I'll take it. Master reveals, and we go to villainous phase. So we got threat level six. Minimum five, two, four, six. No, two, four, five, six, seven successes. Holy jeez. Master will take a swing at me. Minimum seven. Oh wait. Yeah, we'll we'll get this. Three. So that'll be two damage to me, and then I gotta do all my terror my villainous phase terror check stuff. Give me one second. I forgot. I bleep blew blew right past it. So we got all the things on that one. So this threat marker moves up to him, giving us our last peril, which was mired. So nothing really to do with that at the moment. But Okay, so Master heals back up to full. We get a minion over here with Hawkeye. Everybody's got to make a horror check. So we'll start with Dan. Who passes, thank goodness. He's the one that really needed to pass. And then Tex, good. Hank, good. Uh, or sorry, that was Bo. Now Tex, good. And Hawkeye, good. Excellent. Nobody falls down, nobody runs away. That's Primo. We'll go with the big boss first. Nope, already did that. Sorry, we'll go with this minion. He's skill three. On my skill two, so that'll be no damage because he rolled a four. Okay, works out well for me. Back to me. We'll go move in with Bo. It's going to be a double move, I'm sure, to get there. Um, well, no, one inch because I can get just, I just got to be within an inch. So, we'll, and then we'll swing. Uh, ooh, get two damage. Okay, take it. Move Hank in to provide some support next round. And then we'll get in, we're going to get in here and do some work with Lieutenant Dan, who's going to put that machete to purpose, see if we can't end this right here. That's eight. So that's still pretty good. That's five damage right there. Second swing. That's another 
five damage because each of the tens, which is a crit, counts as two successes. So that's another five damage, which will finish him off. He was at seven. They have 12 health. Finishes him off. The only thing left to deal with is this minion over here. So Hawkeye, it's on you, buddy. Finishes him off. And the rest of it would be like I could film like me just running off the table, but there's not really much point to it. Uh, that's going to be it for here. Let's check the score table and see how we did. It was seven points, three for taking the picture, one for my successful parlay, one for revealing the seven last, and then two more, one for my leader surviving, and one for not losing anybody. If I had parlayed over here before I swung, it would have put me to an eight. Uh, but I completely forgot about it. I just got caught up in the moment. But that's going to do it for this game of Perilous Tales. Thanks so much for stopping by, hanging out while we rolled some dice today. I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of your day. And as always, I'd like to say a big, huge, from the bottom of my heart, thank you to our patrons who support us and pledge to us over on Patreon. You guys are the absolute best. If you enjoyed the content you saw here today and that's something that you would like to consider doing to help out the channel, go over there, check out the link in the description, check out the Patreon. There's a lot of cool stuff over there, including access to our Discord server, talk to me, hang out with me, talk about our work, what we got going on in the hobby. Um, some shout outs, all kinds of cool stuff. Check it out if that's something that you think you would be into. And regardless of whether or not you do that, I want you to know that I am incredibly grateful that you decided to stop by and spend part of your day with me today, rolling dice and pushing toy soldiers around. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And as always, may the dice be ever in your favor.